Come here. CJ here. I uh, just shot one. I'm not sure if I got it on film, but uh, I'm not too confident in the shot. I had to twist really funny, and uh, I th I think I got him a little far back. So <sighs> I mean, so far, good morning. Three bucks came in, and. Uh, That's the best start to my morning so far, but um, I'm I'm hoping that that was a good shot. Hey guys, just uh, just looked at the film. Um, it it looks far back. It's hard to tell on the small screen on the camera. Um. I'm shooting Illuminox, so I don't see my arrow sitting down there, so I don't know if he was twisted funny and I caught his other shoulder. I'm not sure. I don't see my arrow. Um, he mule kicked really, really hard when I hit him, so uh, I'm going to sit until about 10 o'clock, see how the rest of the morning plays out. I still have another Michigan tag, um, but uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that that was a, that was a good hit, so... <laughs> I looked at the film, it's not as bad as I thought it was, but it, I'm still not happy with it. So, um, now I have a few hours of waiting and I hate it. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, I hit him good. So, let's, uh, let's see how the rest of the morning plays out. October 26. Oh, out here in public right now. Uh, the, the stand I set up last night, and I didn't see anything last night, but I also haven't seen anything this morning. But there is an ag field to my, that would be to my west, and then there's bedding to my east, and I'm on a rub line in between the two. The leaves are falling because it was the first, like, I think, big frost, and so all the leaves they got a little heavy, and I can shake the tree and have all the leaves come down. So, um, that's what's over here. But Pat just had a, a coyote come through, didn't get a shot at it, but CJ. Uh, shot another one, so hopefully we're gonna get over there and help him track it. Mm, he's not sure about the shot, but looks like a pretty decent buck. So, um, we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna pull this stand down because I probably won't hunt here again. But uh, it was worth a shot at this spot. So that's the plan, and uh, I don't know what time it is right now, but we getting down here probably in an hour or so. at least
just uh, CJ saw four bucks this morning, including the one he shot, or not including the one he shot. I'm not sure. It was a good morning to be out. That's for sure. Uh, next, you're gonna see us on our way to CJ. Hey guys, just uh, <clears throat> slipped out of the tree. So I was gonna walk over here and go look at the arrow really quick or see if I can find it. I couldn't see it from the tree. So I thought that was kind of weird, but I'm just gonna try and slowly sneak over here and see if I can see that. And then uh, I, was, I was gonna back out and go get uh, changed into some normal clothes and wait a little bit longer and uh, go from there so let's see if I can find this arrow well guys uh, I just went and looked over there I couldn't find my arrow so I'm hoping that means I it's stuck up in them which uh, I'm, I'm, I think that would be a good thing I don't think that'd be bad that is the arrow still in them so I must have hit something hard but I you in the film you can see that the the knock disappears so uh, hopefully it's just in there working working inside his body cavity tearing a bunch of stuff up so let's uh I'm, I'm gonna go home i'm gonna change my clothes i'm gonna let him sit until probably about 11 30 noon before i go look and uh well i've got blood at this at the site where i shot him but i don't have the arrow which like i said hitting him kind of far back that's kind of weird to me that i don't have an arrow or a pass through hitting him far back so um, and I looked, I looked for my arrow for a minute, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go uh, home and come back and start tracking. Ah, I heard she leaves it on empty. That's where we're gonna take her car. She doesn't leave hers on empty, just mine. And I had enough gas to make it to work and back home. Red. Circle back, or you turn around. But he was on the I don't know what he's doing. What the hell is he doing? What the hell is he doing? I was sitting in my tree stand first thing in the morning. Uh, I heard two small bucks grunting. They kind of came up. They walked in, played for a little bit underneath me, and then I heard crunching in the leaves, and this guy walked out. And uh, it was just breaking light, and uh, he hung out at about 20 yards for about 10 minutes, and then he came in in the daylight. And uh, I seen that he was wide, but he had his head down a lot. And uh, I was just trying to get my camera on him, so I couldn't really like look at him that great. I didn't know how, how tall he was, but I knew he was wide. So uh, he... He came in, I went to go stop him, and it spooked him. So he, he went out about 10 yards farther back, and then he uh, he gave me a shot, I hit him. And like I thought, I hit him really far back, but uh, let him lay. So we let him lay for about four hours, and then I came in here with my brother and my girlfriend, and uh, we found him. It was, it was a hard track job until about the last 
50 yards before he really opened up, but we found him, so it was cool. It's probably my second biggest Michigan buck, so I'm happy with it. I'm at this tree. See, you would have stopped on those trees. Yeah, we can hurt. Yeah. But the problem, like I said though, dude, I, I, when I drew back, my screen was in my bowstring. Oh, was it really? Yeah, like I was like leaning back and turned all the way to my right, so it was hard. But, I guess it worked. You got him. Yeah. <laughs>